Hey everyone, and welcome to From the Depths. I'm Minty, and this is episode 4 of my Cruiser Clash tournament. Uh, we have my entry, the Puddle Strider, this ugly thing, facing off against the Iron Side by the Shadow Kick. Um, every entry has seen a battle so far except the Puddle Strider, so that's why it's here. And I've, I've been rolling randomly to determine opponents up until this point, and I'm probably going to continue doing that, but exclude uh, craft that have already fought. Uh, you know, keep everybody at a relatively even number of battles. Um, technically, this is still beneath before the. Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Deadline for submission. So there could be another few ships added in, and if that's the case, then they might get a couple of videos closer in together to catch everybody, catch them up with everybody. Uh, but otherwise, if you want to see more detailed. Uh, information about their systems, their weapons, their armor, their shields, engines, all that sort of thing. Uh, I do an overview video for each craft that uh, enters this tournament. So if you'd like to watch one of those, the playlist, the playlist for them will be linked in the description. But enough talking from me, let's get down into the destruction. Start the timer, and go! We got the Puddle Strider launching its missiles, the Iron Side is launching its missiles, Puddle Strider is also firing its volley of uh, cannon shots. Uh, the missiles look like they're going to hit the Iron Side. I didn't see any flares deploy. It does have flares on it, but they didn't deploy. I wonder, where the, I wonder if the missile warners are in a spot where those low flying missiles actually came in under the radar, basically. Um, it does not look like the Ironsides missiles connected. And they're probably going to have some difficulty doing so. Those ones are chasing flares, they're chasing flares, yep. And then here comes that, that fantail spread of missiles from the Puddle Strider, which I really like the way that looks. I wish I could take credit for designing that, but that happened entirely by chance. <laughs> but still, it looks pretty cool. Happy accident, serendipity. Got a lot of damage coming on the iron side, 93% to 100%. Nothing seems to be happening to the Puddle Strider. It seems to be just living straight through what the iron side throws at it. Oh, it's getting awfully close there. If it does, if it does a, a run that close, it, they might collide. Oh, that's a collision. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me let me pause. I want to see... It doesn't seem like that collision really did all that much damage. They just kind of bounced off each other and then kept going. Uh, but, oh, that missile deployment is going to... That, that, that barrage of missiles is most likely going to miss. Oh, shoot, I didn't stop the timer. I'll give it... I'll let it stay stopped here for a short time to make up for that. Uh, yep, they're chasing flares, chasing... Wait, yeah, there are definitely flares were deployed. I, I think maybe the uh, the low flying missiles just weren't detected by the missile warner, wherever it is, or maybe it got sniped off early on by the cannon shells. I'm not sure, but they, they, these flares on top don't seem to be deploying quite right. Okay, start the timer back up. That that'll be roughly correct, I believe. Uh, Puddle Strider is 97%. It did take a hit from some. Th oh. Maybe it took more damage from the uh, the collision than I thought, but it, it is healing back up. The iron side's down 85 percent. It's firing off its missiles. Ooh, it hit the puddle strider has hit the water. It must have lost some of its thrusters. It's right on the edge of the map here. The world just the world's flat, I tell you. But that's not a good position for the Puddle Strider to be, because with it being stopped, those cram cannons, if they manage to get a shot off, can and will do significant damage. But as it stands right now, things are currently in the Puddle Strider's favor. I'm not sure why it hit the water. It must have. It, it had to have taken a hit of some kind. Maybe a uh, a missile tagged it when I wasn't looking, or something. I'm not sure. There's no way it would just randomly fall out of the air like that. 
Are its guns reloading or are they unable to fire at the moment? Uh, I think they're in a reload cycle. Yeah, they're in a reload cycle, so they're not firing quite as quick. Now, this is a flaw of the Puddle Strider here. When it uh, when it hits the water, I have not seen it been able to get out. Like every time I've seen it go in the water, it has stayed there. It was stuck. It does not get back out. But as, as long as it can keep b bombarding with the cannons and the missiles, it will probably pull the win off here because it doesn't seem like the iron side is fighting back anymore. Uh, somebody's messaging me on Skype. They'll have to wait. Six minutes or so or at most. Oh, well, now we have another battle to do after that. So about 15 minutes, whatever. I'm in the middle of something. Watching these two ships just kind of sail parallel to one another. It's like, if the, the Ironside's cannons were working, it would be in a prime position to do some serious damage to the Puddle Strider. But they don't seem to be working. They are not doing their job, not firing. And missiles are running out of running out of steam just before they reach there, but getting carried into their target by inertia. Now the putter strider's pulling away a little bit, and its maneuverability is significantly reduced in the water. I'm not entirely sure it's going to be able to turn properly. It seems to be making a bit of a turn. Looks like it's turning a little bit towards the iron side, so... As long as it keeps doing that, oh, the iron side is dead. It's a, it is AI dead. It has despawned. One of those EMP missiles must have taken out the AI. Well, that was an interesting first battle with that collision. I have no idea why the puddle strider decided to do that. It, its AI is supposed to keep it from doing that, from getting that close. But whatever reason, it decided it decided to just I'm going to ram you. And the my my mistake with the uh, the timer there doesn't didn't really matter because this finished with uh, with um four and a half minutes left on the clock. So regardless of that mistake, the result would have been the same or is the same. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Sorry about that. I had to plug in my phone. I plugged it into my computer, and it decided it was going to pop up, pop open my uh, photo albums and such, and minimize the game. So I had to cut that out of here. Didn't want that personal stuff up here. I apologize for that. But I went ahead and just skipped through me fumbling through the metal me uh, menus to set this up, so we can just get right back to the action. All right, this is the Puddle Strider by me versus the. Ironsides by the Shadow Kick, round two. Fight. Let's see how this goes. Got the missile strike coming in. Those missiles are heading for the Puddle Strider. Are they going to be able to catch it? Or is it going to out. It barely outturned and dodged them. Well, the, miss the missile strike from the Puddle Strider seem to connect rather well with the iron side. Seems like the iron side's uh, outer layer of armor is rather, well, well, it's rather tough, rather thick to get through. But then once you just once you destroy a block, the next block's easier and the next block's easier. Uh I wonder why the iron side just it, is not firing. Like it has an angle with these forward guns right here. Oh, that one's aiming now. I wonder if just the EMP damage is disrupting the AI and making them unable to fire properly. And I apologize if you hear the fan going in the background. It's uh, it's 100 degrees out and I don't have air conditioning, so... Yeah, I'm, I apologize, but I just... It's, I need it. What? Those missiles going in. And once more, this fight is looking rather one-sided. 
So in the previous fight, the Puddle Strider did crash into the water. Not entirely sure why that happened. I must have missed some damage hitting it. Uh, a missile must have clipped clipped it and taken down its thrusters or something. It's pretty obvious something happened because it shouldn't just fall out of the air randomly. This is going off. Cram shot going out. Unless the Puddle Strider turns, that might hit. Nope, it's turning. Nope, that is going to be... That is a miss. By a significant margin. Because I have the Puddle Strider set up to do circling maneuvers, and it is kind of... It's basically constantly in a turn. One way or another, it is almost constantly turning. Oh, last time I did this, though, it's a... Uh, when it collided with the iron side. Is it going to do that again? or No, it seems to be turning away this time. But it's also lining itself up for a close-range broadside, which will not be good for it if that connects. But the iron side does not seem to be taking advantage. It's the... The, the EMP damage from the Puddle Strider must be really messing with the AI on this. Or something. Or maybe the guns are just that damaged. There are like that the, the barrels are shrunk from gauge increase losses. Uh, it looks like pieces have been chopped off in some spots. No. The iron side 88%, puddle strider 100%. Yeah. I, I'm guessing that it's the, the EMP from the Puddle Strider that is causing so many issues to the, the iron side right now. It's like I, I'd put the uh, Puddle Strider on screen, but it's nothing's really happening over here. It is not getting hit, it's not really even getting attacked that much. So there's not much to see. All the action's over here. All the destruction and blocks blowing up and falling apart and everything is in this area. Now, the holes in it, the iron side sitting lower in the water, and that's actually making the, the shells skip off the surface of the water and bounce over it. It's such a low profile vehicle. That's kind of funny. But all of the guns on this side, well, not all of them, but three of the four guns on this side look damaged beyond uh, operability, judging by the, the barrel sizes. This side looks fine, honestly, for the most part. They're just not firing. I'm going to take a look in here and see if... So, yeah, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pause this real quick. And got the timer stopped. And we're going to take a look in here. Like, why is this gun not firing? Because it has lost its AI. So, yeah, it must be that EMP damage. Uh, the EMP damage is likely hitting the hull, then going through the barrel down into the turret and destroying the AI. So, yeah, there is no AI over here for this gun to use. Okay, get everything restarted. Timer going again. Oh, frame rate hiccup. I do have another uh, video for uh, actually episode three rendering in the background here. So I'm surprised that there wasn't more of those hiccups. If there was, I, I would have just stopped recording and waited. But it seems to be doing just fine. Frame rate's all right. My computer's fairly powerful, it can handle it. Yeah, all that EMP damage just tearing down the shields, making the iron sides a much easier target for the cannons. We have four minutes and three seconds left on the clock right now. 
The iron sight is down to 67%. I don't think it's going to last that long. Well, it might. Unlikely. Because generally, the rule of thumb is the more damage the ship gets, the faster it takes damage. Because fewer blocks means you have fewer, uh, less armor on each block. So it takes less actual damage to destroy them. Down to 64%. You definitely hear the repair bots going. Trying their damnedest to heal the iron side up, but the Puddle Strider's offense is proving to be too much for its repair capabilities. EMP seems to be the uh, Ironside's kryptonite. Yeah, I, just, I, I love how that, that those missiles look when they do that. Oh, that, w that launch was a little close it seems. Not all the missiles were able to make the turn. They are quite agile missiles. Oh, what the heck, blue stacks. Seriously? Go away. There. So why does all this stuff happen when I'm trying to record? Sheesh. Anyway, apologies for that. We've got uh, just over two minutes left in regulation. As another missile strike comes in. It does some damage. Ironside's down to 58%. Once it gets below 55, it'll despawn. Or if its AI dies, that will also cause that. And, and there it goes, despawning. That makes the Puddle Strider the victor 2-0 for this battle. It will be earning six points for the both wins, while the iron sides will be earning two points. Uh, that was a that was a fairly uh, it was an all right fight, I guess. The puddle strider did a lot, but for whatever reason, I'm I'm guessing it's the EMP. The iron side just wasn't able to fight back very much. But it was a good battle. I enjoyed watching it, and I enjoyed recording it. And I hope you all did too. I'll see you out on the battlefield.